먹어봐야지. 그렇게 안 매워. 저번에 했던 것만큼 안 매워. 더 일시게 했어. 하이 가이스. 암 성경 롱 게스트. 웰컴 투 에이시안 앳 홈. 앤 투데이 유 가이스 웨이드 포 롱 타임. 앤 땡큐 소 머치 포 유어 패션. 아임 파이널리 쉐어링 마이 똠얌 꿍 레시피. 소 디스 똠얌 수프. 아 이즈 베리 사워 스파이시. 베리 시그니처 타이 스타일 수프. You guys probably had it before at the Thai restaurant in Thailand, but we cannot travel to Thailand right now. So I'm going to show you how to create the flavor at home. So I just took my leaves out from the stem. This is a kaffir lime leaf. Uh, you just need to remove the stems because they are not chewable, even though we're gonna put a bunch of not chewable stuff in the soup on the point of me uh, removing that, but that's what they do, so I did it, okay? <laughs> and then put it right here. And now you will need three lemongrass for this recipe, large lemongrass. Nowadays, it's super easy to find uh, if you go to like a Whole Food or Kroger or Safeway. Sometimes it's really not that fresh, but it's better than not having it for this recipe. So using the pestle or back, back of your knife, or if you have a meat tenderizer, you can use that too. Just go ahead and smash them down so we can release their oil and the flavor. So you can use one Thai chili for this recipe or 20 Thai chilies for this recipe, depending on your spice level. Don't go over the top of this fresh, fresh Thai chilies for this recipe because we are adding another spicy elements into the soup. So you kind of need to know your level of a spiciness. So when I did a recipe testing, when I made it uh, the other day, <laughs> even I had to stop eating. It was burning my tummy so bad, like I could not. Like Jacob was in pain, my mom was in pain, and I feel so bad that I did that to them, but <laughs> oh my goodness, it was so bad. So guys, you be careful, okay? We're gonna paste them down. You can actually just chop the Thai chilies, but when you're smashing down like this, Whew, I already smell it on my nose. Oh, they're spicy. They're mean, like a mean Sangyang when she's angry. <laughs> you haven't seen me angry Sangyang yet. You don't want to see her. Careful when you're doing this because the seeds love to fly far, far away. So they're like Jenny. Fly far, far away. <coughs> Damn, they're spicy. Okay, I might not need to add all of this into the soup. <clears throat> okay, very good. All right, set aside. I'm just prepping everything right now to kind of show you what it needs to prep and done before you start making the soup. But obviously some of the stuff, you can actually do it while you're cooking the, uh, cooking the soup, okay? And the other ingredients I already prepped is some galangal. So galangal is, looks like ginger, but very different than ginger. Actually, when I use the galangal for my Tom Kha Kai recipe, um, they were really hard and really not easy to slice. It's almost dangerous to slice it with sharp knife. So I recommend you to just to uh, press down or pound it down with a, a mortar and pestle. But I was able to actually get fresh galangal this time. And they are super tender. I could slice them so easy. So depending on what kind of galangal you can get, you can either slice them or pound them down with the mortar and pestle. And I chopped three cloves of garlic and I diced the three small shallots. And I prepared about eight to 10 ounces of mushrooms. So I'm using mixture of shimeji mushroom and oyster mushrooms, but you can use whatever mushroom you can find at your local grocery store, okay? And now we are ready to prep our shrimp. So in Thailand, they do use this huge prawns for their tom yam kung. They're showing off. They're, they're obviously showing off. Like, look at our huge shrimp. This is what we add in our tom yam kung. But I understand this type of shrimp is not that easy to find. It's a little tough to find. But you can find the head attached to shrimp, some like this size. The size is like... 
Either one of them, if you can find, you can go ahead and use it. Sungyeong, can I use the shrimp that doesn't have a head, just already peeled and deep the shrimp? Yes, you can use that too. I just love to use a shrimp that has a head on because there's so much flavor in the head. So even though I have to go through little, you know, some work to clean that up, I will do that for that flavor. So if you are using this huge ass shrimp, just cut the back of this shrimp right here and peel this skin or not, it's up to you, but definitely devein the shrimp and also cut the head a little bit. Most of the flavor of the shrimp is actually in their head. Oh, 손님, 코털이 너무 기세요. 이거 코털을 잘라야지. 내 친구가 뽀뽀를 해주지. 응? 코트를 이렇게 길면은 뽀뽀 하고 싶다가 다 하기 싫어진다고 알아 몰라. Any sharp point, go ahead and cut it off. Either serve to the keys or not. You need to do that because they can actually cut your mouth pretty bad. I like to actually leave the peel on it if I'm using this big shrimp. It will extend the shrimp meat cooking time a little longer. Otherwise, the shrimp meat will be overcooked when the shrimp had had enough time to give the flavor to the soup. So that's what I like to do. For this small shrimp, what we have to do is cut their head off and just peel it. Cut the shrimp's back like this or uh, to devein, or you can just devein with a little toothpick too. So depending on how you wanna do it, you can devein either way. My shrimps are ready and clean, so now I'm gonna pour three cups of water into a wok or a pot that you are cooking this soup and three cups of chicken stock. Add all these aromatic vegetables, which is lemongrass, galangal, shallot, the lime leaf, and the garlic. Add all of it. Turn the heat to high. And we are going to bring this to boil. Mina, we are waiting the soup to boil. I'm going to chop some cilantro. Um, if you're lucky to find some cilantro, you can use that too, but cilantro is perfect for me. When the soup is boiling, we are going to season the soup first. So you will need some Thai fish sauce and this chili paste, the Thai chili paste. So the one that I'm using actually has some shrimp, shallot, garlic, and fish sauce, and a little bit of tamarind and everything. So you can either use this or a Thai chili oil or paste or something like that. So it's something like fried chili paste. You can some, use something like this too. So this one actually has a lot red color than this one. So I'm gonna mix it half and half. Um, but be careful when actually Thai product says hot or extra hot, watch out. You're gonna hurt yourself. Their hot is a little different level hot than anybody else out there in the world. <laughs> and give a stir so the paste will melt down into the soup. Only if you're using, go ahead and add the shrimp head right now, kind of squeeze their head part so they have a time to little release their flavor. It already look like it and smell like tom yum. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my mushrooms. I love mushrooms in tom yum, so I'm adding little extra, like a 10 ounce of them, but eight ounces will be perfect, which is half pound. And if you love to, go ahead and add some tomatoes. Tomato is fantastic in tom yum. I thought I had a tomato in the house and I just realized I don't have any, so I'm not using it, so sad, but please add some tomatoes, delicious. Okay, now soup is back to boil. I'm gonna go ahead and add all this large shrimp. Not, not this tiny shrimp yet. Not, not this, this ones yet. Kind of squeeze their head to release their flavor into the soup. So if you are using just only shrimp meat like this one, then um, you can just add now when they are start boiling, then go ahead and add. It's gonna take me a little while to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it. Turn down the heat to medium low and start adding lime. Amount of the lime juice is completely up to your taste. Some people like super sour, some people like mild sour, some people like perfectness sour, like myself. I love a perfect amount of sourness in this soup. When you're juicing lime, you can notice which part of your finger has a little small cut because <laughs> you feel it. Like the little small cuts that you didn't even know you had it. I'm feeling like three spots right now. 
think I added about four limes right now and I'm gonna taste it now. So, a tasting spoon, okay? Only for you. Mmm, maybe just a little bit more. Taste again. <coughs> There's a two type of Tom Yakung out there, which is this sour, clear broth of Tom Yum, or there is a little creamy version of it. When I did a taste test, Jacob and my mom and I, all three of us, all liked the Hanyeol wasn't here, so he could not taste it, but all three of us really liked creamy one, creamy one so much better. So I'm gonna add half cup of evaporated milk. Good old Carnation brand, not sponsored. And the cilantro. I turned off the heat right before I added the milk. I forgot to add my uh, other shrimp. <laughs> mm. So delicious. I love it. I think I can add a little more Thai chili. Oh. I forgot to add my Thai chilies. I think I'm gonna add only half because it's really spicy already. I can't believe I forgot my Thai chili because it was over there isolated by itself. Alrighty, it's done. Let's serve. have to but if you have a little leftover lime leaf add some of that and a wedge of lime just in case if people want a little more lime alrighty and ta -ta, it's done and just in case if you want to serve this like not so spicy and let people add some spiciness then maybe serve a chopped Thai chili on the side or some extra chili oil or the chili paste on the side so people can add to their taste. But this is it guys, it looks so fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. I <laughs> mm. Mm. The other one was like too sour, so too spicy. Recording. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Are you sure it's safe? You can stop coughing though. You taste it. Oh my god. 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 Oh Yeah. Right? I'm waiting for my coffee to start. I don't think it's that bad. But guys, if you like them, hmm? Not closing on that. Anya! Okay. <laughs>